there's a new man in town, a hard-working entrepreneur by the name of James Miller Williams. He's purchased most of the Tripp property and has been generous enough to give Mr. Tripp a foreman's job. Quite a man, this Williams. At the age of 25, he was already making carriages and soon after, rail cars for the Great Western Railway. Now he's trying his hand at the oil business. He's not satisfied to pick at the gum beds. He's digging far below them. Williams dug a well at the edge of a bed of bitumen, struck upon a vein of oil. The supply of fluid thus accidentally discovered will continue an almost inexhaustible source of wealth, yielding at lowest calculation, and with no greater flow than at present, not less than $1,000 per day of clear profit. They're bringing the oil up in buckets and pumping it by hand. Williams is drawing 40 to 60 barrels a day. He's built a simple oil still where he boils the crude and condenses the vapors that come off the top. A clear liquid called kerosene drips out the side spout. It's cheaper than whale or coal oil, burns brightly and is safer too. 